All right, well, I'm out at the range uh, with this bow that I'd kind of written off. Um, I, I wasn't planning on shooting it. My Excalibur um, blew a limb the other night. Uh, and uh, so I thought, what the heck, I'll, let's take a look at another look at this thing and see if we can't get it to at least kind of work. And again, I hadn't shot it at range, just kind of shooting it in my basement, getting it near zero so I could get out uh, to the range and feel confident that I'd actually hit something. Uh, so anyways, um, what, what I found was that the main contributor for the kind of the off-center alignment when the arrow was seated <clears throat> was the fact that the, uh, the serving here on, on the stock string, my dog's eating stuff, anyways, sorry. Um, and it was engaging the bottom part of the knock just ever so slightly as you, you pushed it back into here when it was cocked, causing the, the tip of the arrow to kind of raise and, and to be to the um, left. And you could, you could kind of rotate the arrow a bit and, and tweak it. But what was happening is because it was pushing up basically on arrow here, it was doing some weird stuff with the vein because these, these bristles engaged the veins to a certain degree. And when it started pushing up, it was really starting to push into the veins. So I just took some crown serving. This is the same serving I usually, I've been reserving my uh, Excaliburs with because it's, it's nice and slick, especially on the aluminum. It slides really nicely. Um, and I got a ton of it for my recurves and stuff. So I uh, just threw a bit on there just on the section where the rail is just to make it a little bit bigger. And it actually ends up engaging kind of the top, a little bit off center, a little higher than center, I should say. Um, but that doesn't affect the way the arrow lays now. It's still laying straight down the the, the rail uh, like I'd want. It still has, a, it comes up a little bit as it goes past um, the cables here because there's a bit of a hump in the rail, as people have mentioned <clears throat> previously. But it, mine was always off to the side and up. So now it's straight down the center and then just raises off here. So anyways, uh, I took it out to range today and it was... It was shooting nice. It was shooting nice at 40, uh, 60, and 80. And then so I just figured I'd, I'd take it out to 100 down there and, and see if you can see it or not. Yeah, there's a target. But it's been kind of hard to time the, the shots because, of course, now the wind's died down. But it's been quite windy out here. So I'm going to go take a look down there and see what it looks like. All right. All right. I'm just going to walk it in here. I know I pulled one of them, my second shot, and it wasn't the wind, it was actually me, so I can't blame it on that. These other two were shot, uh, were not bad. You know, at 100 yards with uh, a bow I was not too impressed with. I, I really have to, I guess, eat my words to a certain degree here, because uh, the proof is in the pudding, as they had said in their, uh, their emails. Um, you know, see how accurate it is, and you know, once I mean that, until you're in the way. Over there, good girl. You know, it's uh, it's accurate enough. This is 100 yards. Uh, like I said, this is this is my fault here. I, I pulled that one. Uh, it was. I mean, it could have been a gust of wind, but I know I did pull it. Uh, but these two S, I mean, 100 yards. I'm not complaining. All right, hey Chili, say hi. Is that high? <laughs> All right, thanks. All right, I just wanted to kind of give a bit more on what I was, how I was shooting here anyways. So I'm using the Vortex um, scope. I like the, the reticle in here with the 40 yard uh, center cross there. <clears throat> and and uh, you know, the 100, it doesn't seem to be as far down in the bottom of your of your your, your sight picture so um, it's a little bit better clarity than some of the other ones where the, the yeah, you can get up there, uh, the reticle is the bottom 100 is right at the very bottom it's a little bit blurry down there uh, as well um, using uh, a scope level when you get out there at 100 yards you, you you put it on there and you you can see how much uh, just a slight like that would be way off even if it's just touching the edge of the level there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Focus on that. You know, just a little bit. you got to be right in the center because it makes a, 
a pretty significant difference. You can watch the 100 yard uh, dot move back and forth across the face of the target. So if, if you don't shoot this far and you want to try it, I would definitely recommend uh, a level and uh, utilize it. All right, that's all I wanted. Thanks.